Oh, come on. Oh my gosh, this traffic. Oh, I can't believe it. Are you wondering what it's like to live in mid-Michigan? What are some of the pros and cons? You're probably wondering how different areas are centrally located, or commute times to and from work, or how about the schools? More importantly, and let's be honest, what about the lifestyle? I'm Jeff McIntyre, and on Home Field Advantage, we talk about giving you the inside scoop on everything mid-Michigan. So, if you're into that, make sure you subscribe above. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the pros and cons of living, working, eating and playing in mid-Michigan. Let's start with the pros. Shiawassee County is in the heart of mid-Michigan, but not in the middle of the hustle and bustle of any major metro areas. You don't have to drive more than, say, one mile in almost any direction to get to the beauty and calm of wide open spaces. Now the cons. If you want to get to any major shopping centers, you have to drive about 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes in either direction. Looking for a Target or Old Navy? So now that we know where it's located, let's talk about the commute to and from Mid-Michigan. Now normally, Mid-Michigan has plenty of job opportunities, but if you work in Flint, Lansing, Saginaw, or even Howell, you're looking at a 30 to 45 minute drive to get to work. Metro Detroit takes about an hour, maybe more. The best thing about your drive, M52, M21, US-127, and I-69 are all easy access and very easy driving. Low traffic volumes make commuting in and out of Shiawassee County a breeze. Okay, so what are the pros and cons of the schools? Shiawassee County offers a wide variety of school systems that offer a wide variety of highly acclaimed programs. Owasso, Corona, Byron, Durand, Perry, Morris, Langsburg, Chesenang, and Ovid Elsie schools all have great reputations. Big schools, small schools, schools with emphasis on technology, some with a focus on agriculture, schools with strengths in engineering, schools that prepare our area kids for the future in the working world are all available right here in mid-Michigan. The cons? It'd actually be very difficult to find any major downside to Shiawassee County Schools. Okay, so now that we know the overall area a little better, let's talk about what really matters, the lifestyle. You might be surprised to find that a rural mid-Michigan county has so many great restaurants, parks, museums, and attractions. We have great restaurants, community theater, art museums, and historical museums. Perhaps one of the best things about living in mid-Michigan though, is the open spaces, bike trails, walking trails, and people that enjoy an active lifestyle. I hope this video gave you some insight on the pros and cons of living in mid-Michigan. If you should have any additional questions about Shiawassee County or any of its communities, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask. And if you like this video and want to receive more videos that are focused on everything mid-Michigan, make sure you subscribe above. My name is Jeff McIntyre with EXP Realty and the Jeff McIntyre Group.